Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about Google Drawings and an app that it integrates with that finally allows you to draw. Yes, Google Keep, the app in Google that you want to use for sketching for what we would actually call drawing. How does Google Keep integrate with Google Drawings? Well, let's click on Tools. Anytime you're in a G Suite tool, uh, tool or app, click on Tools. You never know what you might find there. And now you find Keep Notepad. So what happens is you click that and we can create a note, which I will call Feedback for Tom. Let's pretend my student is named Tom. And if you notice, we have a link to this image map. This is an image map, a Google drawing for my War of 1812 digital breakout. I'll put the link below. We could either click done, but let's do something better than that. And that's click the three dot snowman and click open and keep. That will give us much more functionality. So now we have it in keep and we should do a couple things. One, we should add the student as a collaborator. So we can do that. We should also add some labels. And my suggestion to you is to create a label for every assignment, every project where you're really giving feedback that's either in docs or docs or slides or drawings now. So let's put that student and let's put the project, which is the War of 1812. And what will happen is Google Keep will become a repository for all the feedback that you've given students on their work on projects in your class. So you'll be able to keep track of how students are doing over time, and you'll be able to see the patterns that emerge for assignments. Just go through the keep notes that have that label for that assignment. So this would be War of 1812, and you will see what is going on as far as how your students are doing on that assignment. But let's have some fun. Let's give some feedback in a fun way. Sure, we could type it right here. We could also, if we use the Android app on a Chromebook or even on your phone or tablet, you could give voice feedback, which is really great because students hear the tone of your voice. But let's do a drawing. That's the that's what we're here for. So we do the three dots and it says add drawing. And so now let me add a drawing. Let's start with this tool right here, the black. And let me make I'll make it that size. And so now what I'm going to do is I'll draw. Think of the ways that students could collaborate, that you could give feedback to students using this. And I'll make some, some windows. This is really a bad drawing of the White House. Those are some columns. And we'll put a little, I don't know, that's, that's your White House right there. Now we're talking about the War of 1812. So what I'll do is I'll click that guy and let's make some flames. This is the highlighter tool. And what I really like about it is that you can give it depth. And so those are your flames. But let's give this student some actual feedback. So we'll click here. And by the way, I like blue for feedback. Keep, stay away from red, as Harry Wong used to say. And so I'll just say more specific. And my handwriting is really terrible, and I'm doing this on a touchscreen on a Chromebook. I should really make this a tablet for this. And let's also make it a little smaller. And let's say details. There we go. Now, before I add this drawing to the actual note, a little thing you should keep in mind. There's a three dot snowman right over here. Click that and you get download and that will save what you just drew as a PNG. How cool is that? So there really is a drawing app inside of G Suite. It's just not Google Drawings, which is better for images and for graphics and for charts. It's Google Keep. So we save. So look, Pretend we downloaded that and then that's your, so that's your sketching app right there. We click back and now I have feedback. I can add text. I've drawn a little something. I can add images. I can add animated GIFs. And remember, I can do this in docs and slides as well. I also have a link to the actual assignment and then labels, one for the student and one for the assignment. And that's it. So finally, Google Keep, where you can actually draw, is integrated with Google Drawings. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.